Hello and welcome to Short Pan Tutorials. In this video, we'll be covering the topic of SSL decryption. Decryption is the process of intercepting traffic between a client and a server with the objective of viewing its contents. Palo Alto Networks achieves this by using the firewall to act as a man in the middle. There are three types of decryption Palo Alto offers, SSL forward proxy, SSL inbound inspection, and SSH proxy. SSL forward proxy works by the client first sending a request out to the internet to visit a website. That request is intercepted by the firewall and rewritten as its own. Once the firewall receives a reply, it rewrites the response, making it appear as though the server sent it, and forwards the reply to the client. Note, for this to work, you will need to set up a public key infrastructure and to deploy the root certificate to all devices that will be having their traffic decrypted. To learn how to do this on Palo Alto Network firewalls, you can view a previous video we made that covers this topic. Inbound inspection works like this. A client on the internet attempts to access a web page inside your network. The firewall, having your web page's certificate, is able to decrypt what the web page is sending to the client on the internet. SSH proxy is very similar to SSL forward proxy. A client sends a request to initiate an SSH connection. The firewall intercepts that request and forwards it as its own. The server responds to the firewall's request, and the firewall then forwards the response to the client as if it was the server that sent it. The first step to decrypting the traffic traversing your network is to create a decryption profile. Palo Alto best practices are to block all sessions with expired certificates, untrusted issuers, unknown certificate status, unsupported versions, unsupported cipher suits, client authentication, unsupported algorithms, SSH errors, if resources are not available, disable 3DES, RC4, and SHA-1, set the minimum TLS version to 1.2. You should note that the stricter you go, the more decryption will fail due to the server not being able to meet all these requirements. Afterwards, you need to create some decryption rules. Palo Alto recommends creating a no decrypt rule for URLs classified as financial services, government, health and medicine, and military. It's a good idea to begin your decryption implementation with only a select number of computers and not to include any mobile devices. Most traffic on mobile devices breaks due to SSL pinning or applications with their own trusted root store. Note that I only show SSL forward proxy, but the process is similar for SSL inbound inspection and SSH proxy. Once these steps are completed, you can commit your changes and refresh your browser page to view that your SSL traffic is now being decrypted. Thank you for watching Short Pan Tutorials. Feel free to like, comment, and subscribe, and to check out our business website, link down below.